Hello there, my name is Brother Raymond, and you're listening to Ray and D's Power Station. Podcast 30 Talk. And it's called The Second Resurrection. <laughs> well, it's known as the resurrection of damnation. For those of you who were waiting last week for the answer. The first resurrection is the resurrection of life. Let's continue. All right. Where are we? We're going to read some verses pertaining to the first resurrection, and then we're going to segue into the second resurrection. Okay, we're going to be reading from 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 14 to 17. Uh, Let's go to 18. Okay. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain to the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So it's those loved ones, those relatives of yours who are in Christ Jesus, who lived life on the earth the way they should have before the Lord. Mm. Have mercy, Lord. Let your grace abound. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump. See, they use trumpets to make announcements. Hmm of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore comfort one another with these words let's go to Revelation 8 verse 2 uh, Let's talk about trumpets. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Yeah, angels, messengers with seven trumpets. So they're going to be using trumpets up there and on the earth. Yeah. And another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer, and there was given to him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne, Hmm? before the believers. Trumpets. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. The companions that we keep. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame, but some man will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? You fool! That which you sow is not made alive except it die. Hmm. And that which you sow, you sow not that body that shall be but bore grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain, but God gives it a body as it has pleased him, and to every seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, But there is one kind of flesh of man, any other flesh of beasts, other of fishes, and other of birds. There are also celestial bodies and the bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Gotta be born again. 
heavenly and earthly. Yes, you got to be born again. <laughs> there is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised in spiritual. It is raised a spiritual body. Sorry about that. Yes. A spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a living spirit. If you go to Genesis 2-7, there's a precept there. This precept is pertaining to Adam being a soul. Genesis 2 verse 7 And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Okay, stay with me now. We're going back to 1 Corinthians 15:46. However, that was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is of the Lord, from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Did you see that? It's going to happen, folks. 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound. There are the trumpets again. <laughs> and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible. And this mortal must put on immortality. So it must happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. I remember when I died. And I saw myself laying in the bed. It just happened. It was like something snatched me out of my body. <laughs> the Holy Ghost snatched me out of my body. But yeah, it, I was taken. <laughs> Woo. Taken to heaven. To receive a message from the Most High Living God. To come up higher. To do better. That's why I'm serious about this, folks. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruptible and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? Hmm. The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. There it is. The law. Where are we in 1 Corinthians? <laughs> but 
Thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for so much, sorry, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Memories. All right, let's move forward. So for those of you who have been following me, we are still in the first resurrection. Now we're going to go over to the second resurrection. Let's talk about it. So if we send you back in time right now, there was war in heaven and Satan was cast down to the earth. All right. And uh, he tries to take out the man child. Yeah. The 12 tribes of Israel. And the people of the earth. We all came from Abraham, but there was a, a fork in the road. There's a fork in the road today. We have a choice. Yeah, either we believe the word or we don't. Then shortly after, Satan empowers two beasts. The first beast that came out of the sea had seven heads and ten horns. Yeah, governments. Empires. The same empires that Satan tried to promise Jesus when he took him up into the mountain. The other beast that was empowered came from the earth. If you go to Revelation 13 and read, it'll say that he would cause all those to receive the mark, which we know is sin. Sin nature. Yeah, that might be connected to the use of a currency, some form of uh, privilege. Privilege technology and Babylon will go through a downfall and there will be plagues coming upon it and then there shall be a second resurrection let's go to Revelation 20 verse 1 and I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand and he laid hold of the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. All right. So during this time, those that were in the first resurrection are going to be judging. Yeah. They're going to look into the books of life and the other books and they're going to diligently judge with the Lord. So Satan's going to be in there for a thousand years. So if we go to verse 3, Revelation 20 verse 3, And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more until a thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. Yeah, so he's going to be released. And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given to them. And I saw the spoils. I'm sorry. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark. Yeah, that lifestyle of sin. The mark is the lifestyle of sin. Yeah, and whatever he had attached to it. Upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. 
Okay, so this is what we were talking about last week. This is where we are. But this is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is is he that has part in the first resurrection on such the second death is no power but they shall be priests of god and of christ and shall reign with him a thousand years and when the thousand years are expired satan shall be loosed out of his prison he'll be released his time will be ended Okay, let's wrap up. We're almost finished. Verse 8. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from God and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beasts and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works yeah the things they did on the earth and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Just like how Jesus raised Lazarus from the grave. He was a representation of the first resurrection. And when Jesus died and was resurrected by the Spirit of God from his grave, he represents the second resurrection. So in essence, the Lord wants us. He wants us. And he wants us to be saved. The Bible has many dichotomies of truth. Aspects in the Bible that seem contradictory. Here's an example. He who says he's without sin has the right to cast the first stone. And the word says that we must be, be, be perfect in every way. But it's the flesh, I say to you, that gets in the way. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> I think we said enough today. Just paraphrasing there. Well, my name is Brother Raymond, and you've been listening to the Power Station, Ray and D's Power Station. And this has been podcast number 30, Talk, The Second Resurrection. See you next week. We want to thank all those that uh, enjoyed the last podcast. Thank <laughs> you.